Hi guys, welcome. My name is Shelly and this is Shelly's Beauty Corner. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using some stuff that I got for Christmas. So, um, like a little story time. Um, in my family, we don't get like presents for each member of the family. We just do like a secret Santa type of thing, like a gift exchange. So we draw names out of a hat and we just buy uh, that person um, the gift and we have a $50 like limit um, to what we buy that person. And um, this year I like my secret Santa or my, my, my sister got me as her secret Santa um, and she knows me all too good. And she got me um, makeup for Christmas. And I'm just drinking coffee out of my little ollita, ollita mug. Um, but yeah, so what she got me, um, which I did, I think that she did a really good job doing. Um, because I have been eyeing this since I love the Tarte, like, Amazonian clay blushes. Um, and she got like my colors <laughs> exactly like the colors that I like using um, She got me this um, Tarte Life of the Party clay blush palette and clutch. So this is what the outside packaging looks like and the inside is just as beautiful This is like the what the clutch looks like it's all glittery and stuff and then this is what the inside looks like. So these three are blushes and then this is like a shimmery bronzer and then this is a matte bronzer. And I guess that like, you can take out like the actual palette um, and use this like as a clutch I guess. Um, and this is magnetized so when you pop it back in it's magnetized in there. So that's like the first thing that she got me. The second thing is this Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions little palette and this is just what it looks like. It's, um, it's like all the colors that I usually wear which are mostly oranges and bronzes. And then the last thing is this Anastasia. I still have little wrapping paper on it. Is the Anastasia Ride or Die Brow Duel, and it has the actual eye pencil, the brow whiz, and the clear brow gel. So that's that's exciting. Um, I've used the brow whiz one time already since I got it, and the um, eyeshadow palette I've used it about two times, I think. And then the blush palette, I have been using it basically every day since I got it because I love the bronzer and the blushes in there. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be taking is um, the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. But first, we're going to prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. Okay, so as a transition shade, I'm going to take this one right here and with a fluffy um, essence blush, brush, what am I talking about? And I, I don't know, like I, w I would have never thought to buy, um, at least for myself, a Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. I guess these are, are not that expensive, but I, kn I know that her, like, larger palettes are, like, I think, like, $65, I believe. And that's just way too much money. I think the most that I have paid for a high-end palette is 42 which is what um, I paid for the Modern Renaissance. 
But all of my other like high-end palettes, I've either gotten them as a gift or um, have purchased them with like a gift card or when they were like um, like on sale or something. Like the Urban, Urban Decay One Stefani one. I bought that one when they were like, like on sale too. So that's just what I do. So then the next color to darken up the crease, I'm going to take this like dark orangey one right here. And I'm just going to take that with a Morphe fluffy brush. I'm just going to darken up the crease. And I'm just going back and um, dipping my brush back into the color because I want the shade to be a little bit darker so I'm building it up a little bit more than um, than usual I love like these colors like she she got like the colors that I love using like to the point she said see I do pay attention to your videos because I'm always telling her like you don't even watch my videos and then she tells me that she doesn't have time to look at her own sister's videos but I know she does I know she looks at my videos so I just went in with the first brush that we um, were using to blend out the edges of the first color that we um, put and then blended it blended the um the edge with the second color that we used with that same brush um the same morphe brush i'm just gonna wipe it off on a towel and i'm gonna take this dark brown right here to darken up the whole look and i'm just gonna put it right in the crease i want it to have like a dark crease and again I'm just dipping it back into the dark brown to darken it up this takes a, this color takes a little bit of working to build up So we're just going to wait and build up until they both look about the same. So I'm going to take the first brush, brush again and just sweep it all over. And then the actual lid shade that we're going to use is this bronze on camera it looks more like a rose gold and I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm just gonna place that all over my eyelid so I guess kind of like a um, like a cut crease because I am putting it all over my eyelid right up to where the the dark brown is and I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of the dark brown and reapply right here because I feel that I took away a little bit way too much of the dark brown with the shimmer and um let's see 
I'm gonna go and do my foundation my foundation and concealer and then I will be back to do brows and to do the cheeks and to bronze and stuff like that so I'll be right back okay I went ahead and uh, put on my foundation and let's see as a foundation I use I just use this Maybelline um what is this called Superstay <laughs> this Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation in the shade natural beige and as you guys can see I'm halfway done through the bottle which is always good and then I'm trying to use up this covergirl all last all day concealer uh, this is in the shade light medium it's not my favorite concealer um I just don't like how it makes my under eyes look but I'm gonna have to try to finish it so and then for powder I just used the Maybelline I mean the covergirl I'll last all day powder in the shade light to medium and then to set under the eyes I use the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect powder in translucent and now it's time to use this which is the the tart life is a what life of the party and then as a bronzer I'm gonna use the shade tan lines right here which is a matte bronzer And I'm just going to bronze and kind of like contour at the same time. And this is a Beach Cosmetics 108 brush. I'm just going to put that on my forehead. And then the temples. And then I just, I just move my face to the side. And then go ahead and contour and bronze. And I'm filming this, today is New Year's Eve, and it's 8 in the morning, and my daughter should be asleep because um, it's going to be a long day today because of the whole New Year's Eve and staying up till 12, and then she's going to get cranky, and all my fellow moms out there know the struggle. Of having um, cranky kids. So the one that I have been, the blush that I have been using a lot, and I think it's gonna be like my favorite blush, is gonna be Passport right here. And then this is like a pale pink, and then this is like a coral. This one right here is like a coral. Um. I mean, I will use it, but I don't think it's, like, like, it's not my favorite, like, color of blush. So I'm going to take a, a clean, nicely clean, wet and wild angled brush. And then I'm going to go into Passport, and I'm going to use that as my blush. I have always wanted to try, like, the big like a palette of like tart blushes like this um but I can never like bring myself to pay that much money just for blushes I know that they have like the like the circle ones I don't know what they call like I don't know, they have like, I know, I, I think that you guys know what I'm talking about. The circle, like, palettes with the, like, a whole bunch of blushes. Like, I've always wanted to try one of those, but then also, like, there's, like, the reviews that say that, that those are not, like, the same quality as the individual ones. And the Tarte blushes that I have, like the individual ones that I love, is this one, which is called Party. 
or par day and I really love this one you guys can see the like the little ring in the middle from the pan and then I have Corky this one right here and this is probably like I've had this one for maybe a month or two but this one the the party one I had since July which is when my birthday is um so yeah, I really like those blushes. They last a long time on the cheeks like they're supposed to. Um, so yeah. So then the next thing that we're going to get into is the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Which this is how the packaging looks like. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. Which is my shade. Because I like my brows to be dark but not like completely black. I usually get like a dark brown. All of my like brow pencils that I have, or the two pencils that I like using, which is the LA Colors Browy Wowie and the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Pencil, those are both in dark brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. And I like doing my eyebrows. I know a lot of people have their own way of doing their, like the order of their makeup. Um, and I have always just done my foundation powder and everything like that, um, and then doing my eyebrows right at the end. Just because I feel that once you have like your powder and like your foundation and it's powdered down that um like the eyebrow pencil has something to stick to which i don't know if that has anything any like truth to it and, or maybe it's just in my head but that's just how i i've done it um ever since I started doing my eyebrows which I never really used to do because I always had like pretty full brows and I guess I like doing my eyebrows last because I never like carved them out or yeah like carve them out with concealer I just do them I just do them and that's it. I don't really do nothing special to them. That's basically all I do. It might not be like the best way. Um, but that's just what I do. I know that some people do their... Um, their eyebrows first before their foundation. But I don't like doing that just because I feel that when I'm applying my foundation, I I get my sponge with the foundation into my brows and then I have to clean up the foundation off of my brows and that's just, it's just easier like this. And my eyebrows are not coming out the best today because I'm not used to using like a little brow pencil like this. Like the ones that I usually, like this is my favorite one. And this is more like the, like the chunkier one. Like the brow definer from Anastasia. And I used to love using the Maybelline, the Maybelline Micro micro pencil, micro something uh, see this one came out better than this one for some reason uh, I'm just gonna leave this brow like that and then I'm gonna go into the clear brow gel that came in the little duo kit 
To finish off the ice, I'm gonna go into the this orangey one right here first, and then go with this one in the outer corner to darken it up. And we're gonna take my very favorite Morphe angled brush. And that orange, we're going to connect it up to what we have on the upper, the lid, I mean. And then with the same brush, we're going to go into the dark brown, like I said, which is this one right here. So I'm just putting that in the outer lash line. to darken up the look. And that is it for the eye. And then for highlight, I'm gonna spray my face with the Pink Up Cosmetics pH Balance Facial Spray. And I'm gonna take the e.l.f. highlighting brush with the One and Wild Crown of My Canopy highlighter. And I'm going to apply that to the top of the cheekbones, right here. I think I prefer my, um, the Real Techniques setting brush, or under, set, under eye setting brush. But that one is dirty at the moment. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Eyelash Primer with the Essence, the False Lash Effect. The False Lashes Mascara, actually. Chilly, get with the program. For lips, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Pink Chocolate Lipstick. And this is just what the bowl looks like. It's like a mauve mauve color. Like a mauve dusty rose color. These are like the type of colors that I like wearing. Like this one and then the, the Rebel Rose. These two are almost like the same colors. And those are the type of colors that I like using on my lips. So with that, that is it. This is the look. Um, It's not anything like new or innovative or um like creative a lot like a lot like I guess what I'm trying to say this is not nothing that new that um that I haven't done already but I was just trying to show you um what I got for Christmas and um and yeah, show, show some love to my new products in my collection. Um, and like the Huda Beauty, I always try to say Huda. The Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palette is really good. Um, like the brown took a little bit of building up, but the oranges were really nice. Um... The dark brown was the only one that needed a little building up, but other than that, like, I've tried this yellow, like, yellow-orangey shade up here, and it shows up really nicely, too. And they blend out, like, butter, um, and they don't blend out to nothing, which is something that I would expect, um, would not expect from this eyeshadow palette, actually, because it's really expensive, um, so. Um, let's see. The eyebrow pencil is going to take a little bit of getting used to because, like I said, I usually use, like, a chunkier, like, eyebrow pencil. Um, and then the brow gel, I really like. It lets my hair, like, stay in place without making it, like, crunchy. 
And then one of my favorite things that she got me was the blush palette or blush clutch palette thing. Um, yeah, I was really happy when I saw this. Um, so yeah. And do you guys want a close up to see how everything is looking like? So this is how the eye came out. You guys can see how there is like a like a clear difference of where the I put the brown and that's the look that I was looking for. It's not because I didn't blend all that well, but um that's what I wanted in this look to have like the dark brown show up right in the crease. Kind of like a cut crease. And then the highlight, my eyebrows, this is the eyebrow that didn't come out all that well. This one came out beautiful. So there's always one brow that comes out better than the other. <clears throat> so with that, my friends, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video and joining me in showing you guys the products that I got for Christmas. Thank you to my sister for being my secret Santa and getting me um, all of this makeup. And let's see. Subscribe it and like if you guys haven't already. And leave me a comment down below. I like talking to you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I love you. Bye.